hello welcome back <clears throat> in this video I'm going to show you how to graph parabolas by showing all the critical points when you say critical points I mean there are three basic critical points in any parabola the teacher will be looking at you to plot three main points one is called the x-intercept uh, one is called the x-intercept this is the x-intercept then you have to plot the y-intercept and the third point is called the vertex okay now any parabola uh, you get from a quadratic equation now let us do one example start with now this is y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 now I call this the y-intercept form now what's the y-intercept y-intercept is when x is equal to 0 that means the point where the graph hits uh, the value of 0 is called the y-intercept okay I'll uh, explain that in a graph later so to find the y-intercept uh, what I would like to do is I have to set x is equal to 0 so this is how I remember so to find the x-intercept x is equal to 0 so if x is equal to 0 this becomes 0 okay and this also becomes 0 okay so when x is 0 this is 0 plus 0 minus 3 so the x-intercept is minus 3 okay now if you want to write as a coordinate a Cartesian uh, coordinate point so this is 0 negative 3 so your x-intercept will be 0 negative 3 okay now to find the x-intercept you have to set y is equal to 0 okay you have to set y is equal to 0 now to write this in so you have to set y is equal to 0 okay so y is equal to 0 to find the x-intercept. Uh, I hope you know that to factorize this, you have to think of two numbers, two numbers or two factors of negative 3 which adds to give you plus 2. Okay, The factors are plus 3 and negative 1. Or if you think in a converse way, if you expand this, you will get this. That is x times x is x squared. Then you got a negative x, and then you got a plus 3x. So negative negative 1 times x gives you negative 1x, and x times 3 gives you plus 3x, which gives you plus 2x and minus 3. Now, to find the x-intercept, now in this expression, what have, what have you written? 0 is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 3. So I have to think like this. When how can this expression become zero so well i know if product of two numbers is it zero either one of them has to be zero that means x minus one becomes a zero or x plus three becomes a zero okay so if x minus one becomes zero I hope you understand x should be 1. So 1 x intercept is 1. And when would this become 0? So this would become 0. So I can say uh, this, this means x is equal to 3. Okay. And this means x is equal to 1. So these are two x intercepts. So this is 1 intercept. Uh, and this sorry this should be negative 3 sorry so then would this become 0 when x is negative 3 because negative 3 plus 3 becomes 0 so the two x intercepts are 1 and 3 now if you want to write as a point it's always right good to write as like this so the x intercept is 1 comma 0 and the other point is negative 3 comma 0 okay now to find the vertex i call this the vertex form so what i have done is if you have listened to my previous videos i've told you perfect square completing of squares now what you do is 
Let me erase this. All right. Okay. Now, if you set this, okay, sorry. Uh, what, what, you, what you have to do is, you have to look at x squared plus 2x. I want to make this a perfect square. So if you remember what I do is, what we should do is, you half of 2 is 1 and then square it. So that is 1, okay? So x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square. Now this 1 I have added on my own, so I have to take away 1, okay? So what I've done is, you added 1 and take it, taken away 1, so that is plus 1 minus 1 uh, cancels out. So basically this and this are the same. But what happens is this becomes a perfect square of x plus 1 squared minus uh, 4. How did I get 4? Minus 1 minus 3 gives me minus 4. Now if you have seen one previous video, I told you this, from this I can tell the vertex. So this plus 1 x plus 1 squared minus 4 means the vertex has moved 1 to the left. The plus 1 indicates the vertex that means from if you consider the basic parabola y is equal to x squared this 1 tells me the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has moved 1 to the left and 4 down. So the vertex here in this case should be negative 1 negative 4. Okay, so these are the three critical points. X intercept, sorry, Y intercept is 0, negative 3. Your X intercept is 1, 0, negative 3, 0. And your vertex is negative 1, negative 4. Okay, now I'm going to plot this. Okay, so let us plot this. So what have you seen? What is our X intercept? X intercept is negative 1. Okay, our x-intercept is negative 1, negative 4. So this is negative 1, sorry. Your vertex is negative 1, negative 4. So this is negative 1, negative 4. Okay. Your x-intercepts are 1, 0. This is 1, 0. And this point is negative 3, 0. Okay. And your y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So this is this point. So I can also show the coordinate. Uh, so if I, so these are the points. This is one zero, negative three zero. This is zero negative three, negative one negative four. Now I already got this parabola. I'm going to fit this exactly over this. So here we go. So this parabola looks like this. Okay. So these are the three major points. I'll continue this in the next video. <coughs>